I didn't need to grab him. Oh. He's gonna get it right there. There you go. Oh. Hey! Oh. Hey, oh. Oh, oh my man. god. Para que vaya a agarrar a Calve, Wilson, tenle aquí. Para que vaya a agarrar a Calve, que me dé ese amigo. Has to follow holes and you'll find them. What? Oh. Oh, oh my god. Right there. They get them. They're partially uh almost ready to go. I can actually feel them moving around in my hands. Este cuando cae a la tierra, una vez que la iguana lo pone, que lo pone Ya no, ya no te lo puedes comer. La tierra y, y, se, y se cuaja. Yeah. What, one, once they lay them in the Yo dirt, poquito, he's saying they're not, they're not good to eat. So for scientific purpose, what I think we should do is probably euthanize a few of these eggs and dissect them and see the development. Do like a biopsy on the egg. Okay. Yeah. Once it starts blowing, we're going to add those eggs. Wow. And eat. We're just going to put go. two of them in there. Look at that. Like I said, guys, due to the nature of this video, viewer discretion is advised. It's all for scientific purposes, all right? We're just gonna see the development of these actual eggs right about now. So I'm gonna give you a little rundown of what's going on right now. As you can see, we're with our friend Bobby and his brother Juanissimo. If y'all don't remember them, those are some of my really, really good friends. Um, we hunt a lot, we, we, we hang out a lot. Um, Bobby helps me a lot behind the scenes, websites, editing stuff, this, that. Really, really great friend. And his brother is awesome at spotting iguanas. Uh, he's got the eye. That okay, so we have a job we're going to right now. Uh, reports of big iguanas kind of prowling around so we figured, let's go ahead and bring Bobby, let's bring Juan in on the job. You know what I'm saying? They're here, we're here. The people just called, they need the iguanas gone. So it'll be a win-win situation for everybody. After that, we're gonna go see if we can meet up with Johan, um, Sunset Aquatics, that the iguana people. What we're gonna do is, uh, apparently you guys already know that the iguanas have laid eggs. So we are gonna go ahead and see if we could possibly dig some of these eggs out and uh, you know go from there. So. That's on the agenda on today's video. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, hit the rest subscribe button. We'll see you at the job. All right, hey, we're back. Hey, we got our boy Bobby in the building. What's up, Bob? What's up, man? What's going on? What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> and we got my brother out here, too. <laughs> Juancito. <laughs> oh, it's Juanissimo. Hey, buddy. The iguana spotter. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to do a little iguana hunting today, obviously. Yeah. Sun's out. Uh, poles are out. Iguana should be out. I just want to show you guys the crew. Hey, we're going to be back when we start seeing some of these iguanas. We're going to see if we can bag them. Wow, está gris. The iguanas being alpha. <laughs> just a big black iguana, right? Yeah. He doesn't have color. He's probably coming out to warm up. Tienes miedo. Ahí tírate. Always being out. He's gonna keep going. I didn't need to grab him. Oh. He's gonna get it right there. There you go. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Gracias. Oh my God. I should have grabbed him. Gracias, grande. Oh yeah. Well, let's get up. Let's get a pole. Let's get a pull. It's the spot iguanas and trees. Quieres saber cómo cómo tú miras las iguanas. Si tú te fijas ahorita, allá se le mira la cabeza aquel, verdad? So qué qué tú estás mirando la cabeza? La cabeza, la cabeza de aquel. So right now he can spot two in the in the palm tree up there. He 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 can see the heads. So he's been catching them since he was seven years old, right? So he's in his forties now. He's been doing it since he was a kid. So he says it just takes a lot of time to be able to spot the difference between like the leaves. The head, he can spot their their talons, their 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 oh. nails, right? Y qué más? Si 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 te vas a mirar, te te metes por bajo, lo vas a ver biencito. Quieres irlo a verlo por bajo para que. He said we could go under, so he could spot, tell you a few different things. Okay.
cuando ellos están, en cara, ellos están subidos en la rama, entonces los claritos los miran. Ya, ya, ya tú vas a so one way is to go under the tree, right? And then you can use, if they're resting on the branch, their stomachs are wide. So you can normally see the bottom of the iguana fairly easily, right? That's one way. Um, uh, uh, right here, yeah. So perfect example. So right there you go and you see the bottom of the iguana, right? So you see his stomach stretching out. Oh, hay otro. Arriba de ese, hay otro. Están uh, peleando. So, so there's two. So he said from far away he had seen two of them because they were fighting, sí. right? So we saw the one with the belly and then there's another one. He just sees the tail. So he could spot the tail, the difference between like what the tail looks like and what the branches si and the leaves fijas, look like. Si te fijas, el, el otro que está arriba es más grande. Es más grande. Y no se echa a ver que está más grande. Se mira más grande el otro que está abajo. Pero por qué? Porque no lo logras a ver bien. Pero el otro es más grande. So he could, he could tell that the other one that you could barely see as much is bigger. But he could tell by the size of the tail. Which is crazy because I could barely fucking see. From far away, basically fighting in the tree. Okay. Yeah, you're just saying that they're basically fighting territory. Ah. Yeah, so basically, he's just, just saying that like two of them don't like to be on the same tree. So once they're up there, they, they fight for territory. Okay. All right, guys, we're on the hunt right now. Y'all seen those big ones? Uh, we tried going primitive. It didn't work. We got the catch pole. Siempre, siempre uno now we're going to see if we can bag them. La, la... Hey, hey. <laughs> 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 got you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, female. Female. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. saying for the males, this yes. is the thicker? Yes, here's where it's the hembra and the This is the hembra. Is it a hembra? No. No eggs. No, no. It's full, but How do you say put him in the bag in Spanish? Put him in the bag. Put him in the bag. Tell him that. Put him in the bag. Put him in the bag. Oh, they're babies, yeah. Ask uh, ask your ask your brother if uh if there's ever if he's ever seen any iguanas eating birds before in the wild. Dice que si tú has visto iguana comiendo pájaro o algo así. No, no. No. Okay. No, no they eat. Oh, man, they're so cute. Hojas. Hojas. Okay. Wow. Little babies. Yeah, they could fall around right to the <laughs> 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 the big macho one went in here. Yeah. Oh, I see him up there. One there. Oh. All right, that's good. He's in the water. That's good. Está, está agarrado, está casado. Brother, why do they turn so black and what do they call black iguanas? He said, 
Sí, so. Llega un momento que ellos se ponen a naranjar. He says we have to do with the sun. So like if they bask in the sun for a long time, then they'll get colored. They haven't had. Okay, they haven't had time to warm up yet. Yeah. Sheesh, look at that, boys. Hey. Big one, bro. That right here, y'all. Look at that. Damn. Big That's a huge one, bro. Wow. How much you think it weighs? Oh, he's over 10. Come in, come in. <laughs> he's over 10 pounds, y'all. We did it again. We got him, man. Wow. And this ball. There, just like that. Perfect. All right. Iguana man, <laughs> take us out to the spot <laughs> with the prehistoric uh, iguanas out here. Iguanasaurus Rex, right? Oh, absolutely. We're just getting started. And we got another crazy spot we're going to, too. We're going to see if we can dig up some eggs. Oh, yeah, that's going to be nice. Iguana. Ah, uh, mañana lo van a llevar a la casa y después preparar. Pero vamos a matar uno para cogerle el, el, la cabeza. Pero vamos a coger más ahora. Oh no, tell him to wait. Tell him to make sure it goes around his head. Oh wow. Tiki Tiki. There's another one. That's the greater alpha. Hey, I was going to tell you to let him know to make sure to like take his time and put it around his make sure it's around his head. Okay. Oh, I'm coming. Here, let me try catching him. Wow. Dang, son, the big one got away, but we got his. We got his. Dame ese yo para que vaya a agarrar a Kelbe. Wilson, tenle aquí. Para que vaya a agarrar a Kelbe, que me dé ese amigo. Para que vaya a agarrar a Kelbe, la orilla allá. Got it. Wow. Got it. Another one. Another. Allá va saliendo que el otro vecino. Oh, oh. This one right here too. Where? Did he come back? This one's about to come out the wall. Oh, wow. That's silly iguana. Silly iguana. We're gonna see if we can get him yeah, too. He's back at us again. <laughs> hey as you guys can see that escalated pretty quickly um we, we ended up catching about three of them the, one of the big boys two of the big boys actually got away from us but hey uh we will definitely take whatever we can get y'all this is not easy um you know whatever ones we do catch sometimes i mean i consider myself and ourselves extremely fortunate to have that opportunity and to be successful at that because i mean we're talking about big six foot iguanas we're walking right up to them with the catch pole and, and we're playing our cards right. It's a game of chest out there. You just don't walk right up to it, put the thing on it. There's different strategies that has to be implemented for it to be successful. We are back in Goanna land. Goanna. So there's nest over here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we've been digging. 
digging, we've been digging with the machine, so now we just started digging by hand. First pile that we pulled here, yeah, there was probably about maybe 800 dozen in here. Holy shit. Yeah, there's, 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 you see, this canal right here is loaded, loaded. And, and what what had happened is when they did some, some trimming on here, they mulched this stuff and they put it up on here. Yeah. Okay? And this is a, a perfect setting and these guys go inside. And so at any point, you'll dig in a spot, you know, and, uh, and you'll find some form of eggs. Find them. Wow. Oh, wait, I want what? Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Right they get them. Yeah. Now, you'll find these things, and they're partially, they're partially, uh, they're partially, uh, almost ready to go. I can actually feel them moving around in my hands. So. <laughs> We got a lot of work, but I'll tell you what, we've made a big difference. Me, Iguana Man, the Ninja, you know, uh, some other colleagues that we have from, um, from A and B Removal. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here that you know, we're on the ball with. It's amazing. You know? man. Now we know where they're going to lay. Okay. And then we can come back when it's ready and take them out of the circuit and put them in the bag. Well, this guy's moving in there. Is that, um, we can put them in the circuit. We, we can just take them out right there and then. Right. So. It's good to know. This is a good thing. I'm thinking now that learning this, you know, this, this, this a, you know, like the state doing this. Hey, this might be a good idea for people who have problems. Iguana, huh? To throw a pile like this. Hey, Big, I've never seen it like this. Oh, yeah. Let me, let, let, yeah, put them in here, give you a place to live. Yeah. And you'll go there and you won't bother over here. And then I can come over here and I can get what you, you put out. Mm, that's it's a good big, idea. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm not saying that it's a proven fact, but we pulled just this little circuit here. And there's so many. Yeah, yeah. this is pretty, looks like it's pretty dense too. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's huge. It's all it's compact. So well, you remember. Uh, you want a man when we were all here that night back yeah. in December? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we were in here, it was like, you know, 80 degrees. Yeah, know? we were out here while they were laying them. Yeah. And now they laid them, and now we're going to be uh, yeah. excavating them. So, you know, so you know, starting Tuesday, starting Tuesday, if you want to come out, we're going to be we're gonna be coming in here with a, a claw machine. Okay. And we're going to start doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because who the hell wants to get out here in 90 degree weather? <laughs> you want to get out here in 90 degree weather? Hell, hell no. no. Not me. I told you. You guys seen it yeah, right you here? Take these home with you, Raj. Boil them up. Okay. And then uh, we can boil them right here. I got something to boil them right oh, here. Oh, you got you some? Yeah. You bought a, a boiling pot? Yeah, I bought, I bought, some, <laughs> yeah, I bought a kit. That I bought a survival amazing. kit. Oh, boy. I bought a survival kit. We're going to do it together. What are we going to do next? These are some things that we... I don't know if you know, but this, when it falls to the ground, once the iguana puts it, when it puts it, you can't eat it. Oh, yes? Because it immediately puts blood. It sounds like it's not good to eat. Translate. Yes, yeah, yeah. so he's saying... Uh, once they Solo cae la tierra y se, y se cuaja. Yeah. What, one, once they lay them in the Yo dirt, he's saying they're not they're not good to eat. Yeah. They're good to eat if you get them out of their stomach. But mm. once once they're in the dirt, um, I guess it, I, I don't know how he's saying it in Spanish. Once right. the, the egg comes out of them, right. it's not good to eat. I guess. So in other words, you couldn't do it like you do ducks. Some cultures they take ducks that are halfway done in the eggs and they and they consume them yeah it's like a balut yeah it's like a duck fetus type yeah. thing but here's what right this is what we're gonna do obviously probably we can't eat them because they are they have been laid and we're gonna you know Juanito says we can't eat them but here's what we're we are about a month or a month and a half away from the hatching season that's right so for scientific purpose what i think we should do is probably euthanize a few of these eggs and dissect them and see the development do like a biopsy on the egg okay see the development see what's going on in there Maybe if somebody gets hungry, maybe if they want to eat it, that's on them. I don't know. I, I, oh, I think well, I'm good. But I want to see what's in that egg. And I think everybody at home wants to see that. What's today's date? You know, I'll tell you what. I've been working for five straight days, and I don't know. Today, oh, today's date? Today, yeah. It's the uh, 28th, 29th? 
Yeah, 29th, Sunday. Okay, so it's uh, May 28th, 29th. Yeah. It's right. May 29th, 2022. We're going to find out where these eggs, what's the development of these eggs. Matter of fact, let's get our station ready right now, boys. Okay. And we'll euthanize a few of these, and we'll uh, we'll do a little biopsy, see yeah, what's inside. Get, once it goes in water. All right, we'll be back. That's going to go ahead, and uh, some kind of chemical reaction is going to happen, hopefully. We'll start <laughs> boiling the water, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to drop some of these eggs. We're going to do a little biopsy. Look, there it is. Look, look check it out. Check it out. Look at it. It's sizzling. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Woo! <laughs> That's it's getting hot. So just give it a minute. It's, it's, it's gonna get. It's gonna start boiling. Yeah. Once it starts boiling, we're gonna add those eggs. Wow. Eggs. Yeah, there you Drop go. them in there. And just place them right in. We're just gonna there put two go. of them in there. Yeah, that's on the well they want. Yep. And we'll give them. We'll give them a minute. Let them uh, kind of do their thing, and uh, we'll be back. We'll open it up and see what's inside. <laughs> what is that? Look at that. Check it out. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Check it, check it, check it. That's pretty neat. That is really neat. Wait, did you see how that, that, it's a chemical reaction. I'm, I actually can feel the heat from here. Look, it's right here. Maybe that is amazing. We can get some more info and find out what it is, dude. What is the name of it, Johan? Well, whatever it is, is, is food safety, though. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all, it's all, it's all good. Let's see, don't touch until, yeah. Um, you phone you. Oh, shit. Hopefully not. <laughs> I'm have to step back. No, it's not. It came in a survival pack. It's some kind of heating pack. Yeah. Obviously, they're not going to show their proprietary blend in there, you know? No. For, for copycats. Yeah, they, they're pro they probably got a patent on that. And it probably has everything to do with this little logo here. But I'll yeah. tell you, it, it does have an 800 number. So I'm going to check into that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it comes with this bag. Matter of fact, Johan, you can have... You can have... Uh, here. There's a kit in here you can have. Oh, I'll right. definitely do a video. So you got you got a little pouch in there. Look, this is I guess you could put meat in there and then steam it with that. That's what it's for. This is like okay. a steamer bag. Yeah, matter of fact, you know what? I'll try something. I have one of my cook cook things. Yeah, just give it a shot. Don't put a lot in there. Just test no. it out, you know? Yeah, just a couple of little pieces. Just test it out. Awesome. Just test it out. Oh, thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> nice. Look at this guy. Nice. <laughs> yeah, this, he's flipping up. We got these right here. We want to weigh them though. So look, this is the black one. Right? Yeah, so this is the big black one and this is the red tiger one that we got. Um we think which one do y'all think is better? The, the black rhino or the, the orange tiger? This pesa como una una 20. Esta? Yeah, this one. He said he's saying maybe yeah, it, it weighs like 20. Yeah. Okay. He's guessing. We're going to get a guessing game. 12? <laughs> I say 13.5 pounds. 13. 13. We're going to weigh the smaller one first. This one? 8 yeah. No. 10.1. Bien? Yeah. What is it, Raj? 8. Yeah. 9. 9. 9-1. Yeah. Okay. So then this one, yeah, this one's probably like 12. I'd say 13.1. 13. 13. 13. 13. Yeah. Zero. Get it. I'll show you. Almost a 12. 11.6. Almost a 12 pounder. What was the biggest one you had caught? 15. So that's. And más grande que cogió era el 15. Yeah, the record is 15. Nobody's ever tr trumped that. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. On people, yet. people claimed it, but nobody's. Whenever I ask them, is there a picture? Oh yeah, we don't know. All right, yeah. cool. Good story, buddy. Like a bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, nice story, but. <laughs> yeah, hey, if y'all if y'all think y'all getting records, it's real easy to prove your case. All you gotta do is you know weigh him on film or get a picture of the weight. You know, simple as that. Maybe they did uh, catch a giant one, but if you don't have no proof, I mean, how are we supposed to know that? Right. So, look at that right there, 12 pound black iguana. <laughs> He's massive. Whoa. All right. Nice. Gonna go ahead and put him in the bag. Yeah, we're making we don't know if we're going to eat these eggs or what, but we definitely want to know the development. Ain't that right, Eric? Yes. 100%. What do you think, Eric? 
You think there's yolk in there? Or you think there's an iguana in there? What do you think? But you think there's a snake in there? Well, I'm pretty sure there's probably almost a fully developed iguana in there. You think? Yeah. All right, boys and girls. Like I said, this is all for scientific and educational purpose. Whatever is in that egg, it's euthanized now. This water's been boiling for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna let it just keep uh, boiling and then we are gonna do the biopsy. Okay, maybe once he comes out of the egg, maybe he'll be like, Dada? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he'll just crawl on you yeah, and forever like, stay yeah, on the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Come on. He goes to Cochilla. La muerte aquí. All right, so hey, these eggs have been boiling for quite a minute. Water's cooled down. We're gonna go ahead and start our biopsy. Like I said, guys, due to the nature of this video, viewer discretion is advised. It's all for scientific purposes, all right? We're just gonna see the development of these actual eggs right about now. Ooh. My goodness. This is the huevo de iguana. Purposes. Mm. Look at that. Baby. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. That's a little eyeball. Yeah. Literally one right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty that's pretty gnarly. See how he eats all he eats right off of the 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 yolk the and yolk. everything? Yep. That's what keeps him survived. Look at him, he looks like a little shrimp in there. Yeah, yeah almost something like an alien. Yep. He's going uh, through that stage, but look. My goodness. We're going to get him out. Hold on one second. I will pay you $100 if you eat that. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> there goes, the, there goes the, the iguana right there. Check that out. That's Boom. amazing. Uh, look at that. Incredible. So look, these eggs have been laid for about a month and a half. Let's say a good half. month. Every eggs are different because there's different developments, different types of the females lay. But check that out right there. That is an iguana uh, embryo right there. Yeah. Fascinating. Fantastic. Hold on, we do have another egg though. We do have another egg. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that beautiful. Wow. That was more developed. Wow. Oh, definitely a little bit more. Whoa. Look at that. Look at his eyes. It's like his eyes got developed first. Yep. And that's, his brain and stuff. Look at that. That's exactly what happens. Is that their eyes and their brain and their heart come next. All of that. Insane. We're stopping it. We're stopping the, the cycle, bro. We're stopping the cycle. It's going to be a real hard task, but we're stopping the cycle as it, as it, as it starts to exist. That's what it Dude, I'm shocked right now, man. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Digging the eggs and then actually showing you guys the development on the biopsy. Really guanas. Yep. Really guanas. Um, I would say probably in at least another month or something like that, they would be they would be hatched, you know? A right. month and a half they'd be hatched. We're gonna be out here. We're gonna be out here. All right, guys. Like I said, not to be gross, that's pretty insane though. We're gonna wrap up the video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think about the biopsy with these iguanas. Pretty wild, pretty wild. Like I said, they were euthanized before we opened the egg, but we do have one more egg right here. Drop some comments and let me know what should I do with this egg.